Hey everyone, so here we go, next tutorial for Halloween. As you can see, it is my channel icon look. It is the half skull mask. And let me just open my eye, because it's kind of probably kind of free that I'm talking with one eye closed. But yeah, it's just a skull mask that I did on half of my face. You could do the whole face, or you could just do a little section of your face. Doesn't matter, just tweak it, make it your own. It's only makeup, it washes off. Uh, yeah, there's not really anything else I have to say about the look. All I really have to say is please, 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 Make sure you check out the video description, because I'm still getting asked tons and tons of questions that could be answered in the video description. And then also, please check my other videos to make sure I haven't already done something before you request it, because I've been getting a lot of requests for stuff that I've done months ago, and so I'm just like, here you go, it's right there, I already did it, so yeah, enjoy. And that's pretty much it. So, like always, make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, and favor, and that's it. So let's get the tutorial started. Okay, so the very first thing that you're going to want to do is something with your brows. You're either going to want to flatten them down or cover them completely. I'm just going to flatten my brows down a little bit. I'm using Max Brow Finisher in clear. And then I'm just going to go ahead and go over my brows with it. It's a wax, so it's just going to make them stay down. And that way, when I go ahead and apply the makeup it's gonna look smoother and you're not gonna see all the texture from the brows um, there's many different ways you can actually cover your brows you could do like spirit gum and brow wax you could do the glue stick method um, Blanche Babcock actually has a very very great brow tutorial on how to cover them with the glue stick and if you click the box right here then it'll take you to that tutorial so just go ahead and do whatever you're going to want to do to your brows and just make sure it's nice and smooth, like so. I have my brow flattened and I forgot to mention I'm only doing one brow because I'm not doing a mask on the whole face, I'm just doing half. Then you can go ahead and just take an eyeliner or anything like that and draw out where you're going to want um, your skin to look like it was torn off or anything like that. Or you can skip this step if you're just going to do your whole face. I just grabbed Raven Coal Power Pencil. Doesn't matter what color you do. And then just draw out how you're going to want it. And I'm just going to go ahead and draw my shape. And actually I want some teeth in this, so... Okay, once you have your shape drawn on, or your outline rather, then you can go ahead and take the same pencil and feel out your bone structure because wherever there's a uh, area that caves in or sucks in anything like that, that's going to be one of your when you use the black or your darker colors. And then of course everywhere you can actually feel your bone or your skull is going to be the white. So I already know that the eye socket is going to be black. So I'm just going to go ahead and just feel out your own bone structure. And then I actually have a picture of a skull taped to my mirror as well. So I'm using that as reference. So if I don't know how a bone is actually going to look, like I can feel that there's stuff going on right here, but I don't really know what. I can look at my pictures of the skull. I just did a Google search for human skull and printed out a picture of one from the front and then the profile. So there's that and I can just follow it. So I can see how everything needs to be. Okay, so now I have all my lines drawn on. And as you can see, it kind of just looks like a big mess. But there is actually a method to all the mayhem. Um, these are just guidelines to where I'm going to do black and where I'm going to do the white. And then all the shading is what really is going to make this pop. So now I'm just going to take... Ooh, my two colors that I'm going to use, and I'm using the Kryolan Aqua colors. I'm using just the pure white and then the black. And I'm going to use them with face and body mixing medium. You can use any kind of primer with them. They're water activated, so you can use them with water, of course. Or the water-based mixing medium is great. I'm using face and body because it's water resistant, so it holds up a little bit better since I'm doing it all over my face. Just in case you end up going anywhere where you're going to sweat, or if it's going to be humid inside, like a club or a bar, then the face and body would be a better bet because it's just going to hold up a little bit longer. So I'm going to put a little bit of this on the back of a Petri dish, and then just apply it from uh, there. And then I'm going to use a brush and a sponge to get the actual color on. 
you can use either you can use your fingers if you want to it's all going to be up to you but then you would just start applying the color where you need it start with your lightest color so just go ahead and apply your white all over wherever you need it Now that I have the white everywhere I want it, I'm just going to go ahead and take pure white pigment or white eyeshadow would work, um, translucent setting powder would work, anything like that. And then I'm just going to set all of the white areas with this. And again, I'm going to focus mainly on the areas that are gonna be more of a natural highlight. Now that I have the white on, I'm gonna go ahead, black Krylon. This time I'm using a 191 brush, so you can use anything. Same thing, I have face and body mixing medium in a Petri dish. Oh. And I'm just gonna do the same thing that I did for the white, but this time I'm just gonna use the black and fill in all of the empty spaces. Okay, now is when it starts to get technical, and you're going to start doing all your shading. I'm just going to use a combination of colors from this palette. It's just a lot of neutrals, a lot of grays, black, stuff like that, and then whites. And then I'm also going to use Naked Pigment. Um, I'll tell you what color I'm using as I use it, but I might end up using a lot I don't know, only because I'm just going to use the colors as I see fit while I'm doing it. So if I think it needs a little bit more of this color, then I'll do that. And so, so on, so I'm forth. just going to take a fluffy brush, and I'm using the 217 from MAC. And then I picked up some naked pigment on it, and I'll shake off the excess. My hands are getting really dirty. And then, just very lightly, where the black and the white meet, I'm just going to dust some of the naked pigment there. Only because I want this black area to look like it's very, very caved in. And then it's going to start to form out onto the white area. So we're just going to do a ton of shading, and that's mainly what this mask is, is just a lot of shading. Okay, and now you can see that since I did all the areas where the black was touching the white, I'm going in in any area that's going to have a contour. I'm just going in and then applying it there as well, and now you can actually see some of the shading taking effect. Now I'm just going to go in with an eyeshadow, and I'm going to use this one right here which is just cork eyeshadow and then I'm using a stiffer brush to apply it and I'm using the 239 but any stiff brush will work and then I'm gonna do the same thing and just press it wherever the black meets the white fluffy brush and blend so now I have something like that you can see it's all starting to take shape and form and just look a little bit better now I'm gonna go ahead and take a little gray and I'm going to use which one Ugh. I'll use this one right here which is scene eyeshadow it's a gray with a blue undertone to it and I'm just taking an angled brush this time but again you can use any kind of brush and then I'm gonna do the same thing and you'll notice when I'm doing this part down here, I'm not coming all the way up here. I'm actually going down in this area only because you'll see there's a little line right there. Part of that is going to be my gums and I'm going to make teeth right there. So, so to make it look more three dimensional, I'm shaded all of that. So that way it's going to create a shadow to make it look like the teeth are actually going back and wrapping around. Okay. Again, I'm just going to add some more depth, so now I'm just going to go darker, and I'm going to take Nehru this time, which is a very, very dark gray. It's almost black, but not quite, and then I'm going to do that, same thing like I've done before, at the base of everything, and then also remember to do underneath your jawline as a contour. I'll blend that out better later on, but you're going to want it there.
as you can see I'm just doing tons of shading I'm doing like around my forehead and remember since you have this white on colors are going to grab hardcore so just be very very careful where you place it and while you're blending it um, now that I have that on just gonna take my angled brush again and this time I'm gonna take either you can do the black black pigment or carbon and do the same thing but instead of just doing the edge touch up all your black areas and make them appear darker more black now that's pretty much the majority of the things you need to do to the actual face part so you're gonna want to do your teeth and this is where it gets a little tricky and I'm just gonna use a 208 brush it's just a regular angled eyeliner brush then I'm gonna pick up um, cork eyeshadow and I'm gonna draw the outline for my teeth and I'm gonna use my picture of my skull as my reference you can do your own teeth if you want to but it's just easier to draw different teeth so you're just gonna figure out how you're gonna want them and where you're gonna want them and I'm gonna make a line right there to determine where my top teeth are gonna be and my bottom teeth and then just go ahead and draw a rough outline let's see they curve up do the same for the top let's see so what I'm gonna do next I'm going to take a color that's a little bit darker, so this time I'm going to take Saddle. And I'm going to do shading underneath all of them to make it look like it's going into the root area. And it's pretty much the same shape. It just curves in a little bit more. And if you look at a picture of a skull, you'll see all of this. Now I'm going to go in with a gray. I'm going to use print this time. And then all down here underneath where the teeth are, in between the teeth, I'm just going to go ahead and do some shading. And then do the same for the top. Now you can go ahead and outline the teeth, and for that I'm going to use um, print, or scene. Yeah, scene, because I just use print. So I'm going to get a little on my brush, and then I'm actually going to go in and define between the teeth. Okay, and through all the shading I actually lost a few teeth, or like the defining lines between the teeth ran too far over. So what I'm doing is I'm just going in and making the pearly whites pearly white again. But just keep finishing or doing whatever you're doing to the teeth. So now I have this. That's what the teeth look like. And then you'll notice in the black area there's a few white gashes and that from far away or even when you're not that far away when you're still kind of close looks like teeth that are forming that are just going all the way back and there's a shadow so it's darker so that's all that's really doing now you can go ahead and you can do more detail work to your teeth if you need to I want them to still look more three-dimensional so at the top and the bottom of them well at the bottom of the top teeth top of the bottom teeth I'm gonna go in and round the corners a little bit. Then the last step that I did is I just took a little carbon and then right on my bottom lip at the top of the teeth I just went in and shaded to help continue the line from where the teeth separate. So it's like that. It looks kind of weird when I'm talking to have the teeth like that. Anyways now you would do any finishing touches that you want to do 
to the skull side because as you can see it's pretty much done. What I'm going to do is take espresso eyeshadow and what you're going to do with this is just create a shadow pretty much where the skin is. It's going to be a little bit thicker so a shadow would be um, cast onto the skull. So just right around the line that you drew for your skull. Just go ahead and press this right up against that line. Your fluffy blush, blush, brush or a blending brush, whatever you want to call it, and just blend it over onto the skull. Last part you have to do to the skull is blood. And then there you go. You are all done and all set and ready to go on your way out to your Halloween party or anything like that. So I hope this is helpful to some of you and I will talk to all of you soon. Bye.